Hi everybody, wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a shabby chic flower. I know it sounds really fancy, but it's, it's really not that fancy. Um, and it's really easy to do. I saw a craft show and somebody was making these and she even used it as, as a decorative piece on her sweater. Um, so this particular one, I used this kind of ribbon trim. And this is the exact length I used to make this flower. Um, the, tr the length of it really depends on how big you want the flower to be and what you want to do with it. So since I made this one using this trim, this time I'm going to use the white fluffy one. And these I bought from, uh, this one I bought from Joann's and this one my sister gave me from um, going to downtown LA. But I'm sh pretty sure Joann's has this one too. So basically you need a glue gun. I highly recommend it, but be careful because of course you can burn your fingers easily. So I'm going to take this white out so that you could see what I'm doing. And so the first step, and the trick with this is, is just use a little bit of glue, gun, glue at a time, because if you glue the whole thing, then it gets really messy. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start gluing is I'm going to basically glue the two ends together. And this is not an exact science. You can, if you mess up a little bit, that's fine. That, that adds to the whole shabbiness. So here we go. So I'm going to use the glue a little bit at a time. And then carefully, without burning yourself, fold it over. Kind of tap on it so the two ends come together. So this is what you're looking for. And then just continue to do that till the very end. And of course, I'm going to run out of glue in the middle, so I have one ready. And again, you want to work quickly because you know how fast the glue dries on these things. So just kind of sandwich them together. And it'll dry within a couple of seconds. I just kind of pat it. You can get all the glue spiders or whatever people call them out later. Okay, so now you're ready to go. So you can't really tell which end is what. Um, so just look closely to make sure you're working with the right end. And now what you're, we're going to do is fold, the, fold uh, the flower together. So here we go again with the glue gun. So look for your two edges that have met. Put a little bit of glue, and you're going to start rolling it around. So here we go. And you, you know, you, I would roll it kind of tightly because you don't want all the stuff hanging out, all the different frizzies. So that's going to basically be our, our bottom. So again, go close to the edges you can. Roll it tightly. And sometimes you might want to hold it a few seconds just so that it kind of comes together. And then keep going. Keep rolling it around itself. Holding it for a few seconds. And we're almost done. You see, I'm not, you know, aiming for perfection here because at the end it's going to look really neat and kind of different. And not something you would find out at a store. So again, looking for the end. This time around, I can pretty much use the whole thing. And then roll it around itself. And if you feel like you need a little bit at the end, you can go for it. And then there you go. So basically, um, some people like to take a circle and kind of anchor it. So while that's happening, that can kind of dry on its own. So I just made a circle doesn't have to be perfect. Put a bunch of glue on it. And then take, remember your bottom. Smash it down with your hand. Kind of make it flat. Hold it down for a few seconds. And there you go. You can put something in the middle of it. Or what I like to do is sometimes I like to ink it. That way it looks more kind of vintage you know, depending on what color you're using. So here's one sample and here's the other. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day.